Okay, so now we can install the Zabbix server front end and agent. Now the agent is a different process and it's optional. We don't have to install it, but it's a good idea to install an agent on your Zabbix server as well, because then we can analyze our server through the agent as well. So the commands for my operating system are this line down here. I can just copy that completely. I got that line from the Zabbix install page. All my selections are correct. And if I scroll further down to part B here, install Zabbix server front end and agent. I've just copied that line there. So remember, if you have different configurations, that line will be different. So there are several things being installed here. There's a Zabbix server MySQL component, the front end PHP component, the Apache configuration, SQL scripts that will run in a moment, and the optional Zabbix agent. Now, later on, we'll install Zabbix agent on other servers without installing all of those other things because they won't be necessary. So for the Zabbix server component, those things are necessary and Zabbix agent is optional and they're only necessary because of the configuration that I have here okay so copy that line I'm on my server I'm logged on as root so I can just run apt install Zabbix server etc now if you're not logged on as root all these commands that we type you should put sudo in front of so they run with admin privileges but I'm already logged on as root so it's quite unnecessary it doesn't matter if I do or not I'll just show you Press yes to accept that you're going to be installing something. Okay, so that's done. That took about a minute to a minute and a half to run. Okay, so now we can do a couple of checks. We can check the status of the Zabbix server, which won't actually be running yet, but we can just verify that the system knows about it. So sudo, if you're not using a root user, service Zabbix. If I just press tab, it fills in the rest of the letters for me. So SE, and it fills in the word server. Status says inactive dead that's okay we haven't finished setting it up so control c to get out of that now we can also check the zabbix agent so ag tab it prints out zabbix agent status and the agent is actually running although the agent is going to be having several issues because it's unable to connect to the zabbix server but that's something we'll deal with in the next few videos so excellent control c to get out of that so we can now continue on to the next section and that is about setting up the database. Excellent.